morning guys it's currently saturday i just took a shower so don't mind my looks what we're doing now we're making a breakfast so i'll be making a toast with a cooked egg nothing too much my boyfriend is currently driving his grandma back to home so i'm taking this chance and making something fried and cooked because this week he visited the doctor and he has really severe gut issues and now he needs to follow a very strict diet so he only can eat something boiled or steamed and so on so while he's not here i will prepare something cooked for myself because i just can't live without cooked meal i really want to support him in this so i want be eating something he can't right in front of his face okay now back to breakfast making and then i will do myself a blowout and do my makeup will be sliding down there. Twenty seven year old. Good <laughs> daddy. It's for the boys. <laughs> Who am I dating? Who am I marrying? No, 
go. <laughs> Okay. Yab dab do. He's camera shy. I'm not camera shy. <laughs> I mean, the past is the quarter drunk and all. <laughs> he said that, that this piece of wood is showing rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> So I'm back home now. Um, excuse me, what are you doing there? <laughs> However, after the walk, we went to IKEA to find some white box for deposit bottles. Uh, you know, the ones you have to return for uh, exchange of money because they're plastic and so on. But I couldn't find anything that would match my aesthetic, so we didn't buy anything at all. It was a waste of time, honestly. So now I'm back home and actually my boyfriend went to visit his friend. His friend got this new big ass TV and they're playing games on it. He's not like a gamer type of guy, but uh, last week he also visited that friend and they were having so much fun but they wanted to repeat that this week as well so i'm home alone with my cat obviously and i think i will use this time to organize my closet it's been a while since i last did that and it's quite messy also there is a lot of stuff i don't need or i don't wear anymore so like i need to do the cluttering and get rid of the stuff i don't need anymore so there would be space for some new clothing i guess it's just you and me guys and we will be cleaning my closet okay Get comfortable, get your drink, and let's do that. But first things first, I'm thirsty and I want to prepare some drink for myself. I'm thinking of iced coffee. I know it's winter, but I kind of have this urge to have an iced coffee. So I will prepare one for myself. Also, I will snack on two kiwis and then we are ready to go. So kiwi and iced coffee it is. Let's go. If you make iced coffee without an ice, does it really count as a nice coffee? Because that's what we'll be doing. So we can just call that cold coffee. Okay, so I guess it won't be iced coffee after all. It will be just cold coffee without anything. <laughs> that's it. Because I don't have ice and I don't have syrup either. Cold coffee with milk. So this is the milk frother I have and it has these four options and I guess this one with the snowflake is meant for a cold frothed milk. I don't know if that's enough but it kind of looks dark and I'm not really into dark coffee at all because it makes my heart rate go insane. When it comes to my iced coffee I really like something sweet and I'm afraid that this will be a disaster because I don't have anything sweet to add. Okay so the milk is ready and it's extremely cold. Okay, so where did the brown color went? Why does it look so light? Everyone is scared. Taste check number one. Hmm, it's actually not bad. It's much better than I expected. Yeah, it actually tastes really good.
And also, instead of kiwi, I will be having a pomelo. Guys, is it pomelo or pomelo? I actually don't know how it's correctly pronounced. I call it pomelo, but my boyfriend calls it pomelo. So which one of those is the right one? Okay, this will be very random and very weird, but when I'm eating fruit just like this, raw, just peeled off, I feel like some kind of animal, honestly. For some reason, this just doesn't make me feel like I'm a human being. Pomelo is so underrated. It's such a tasty fruit. It's not super sweet or super sour. It's just right in time. Okay, now let's get to work. So this is a closet and actually even looking at this, this makes me overwhelmed. Like, are we actually going to do this? Like, it's a lot. I own a lot of clothing. Okay, so this part looks good. There's some dusting we need to do, but all in all, it's good. And I mean, also this kind of looks good, but I want to organize it by color. Obviously here we need some kind of organizing because I hate that I have a different kind of hangers. I actually did buy more hangers, so I definitely need to change them. So they all would be from one kind and also the colors here are messed up as well. And then we have these, which are even hard to open normally. With what to start? I think we'll start with music because doing this in silence creeps me out. Like, I will literally go insane. Let's bring some music. So it turns out that my iPod's battery is very low, like there's only 3% left. So we need a charger. Okay, I think it's time to start the cleaning. Taking you in this moment Come get close like you own name Read your aura, you want more of all this love you'll be your name Release all of your burdens It's been me who'll be searching Take a load off and your clothes off Just relax, you deserve it our drive from our city to this one and this is called Ventspils. If you're not from Latvia then it doesn't even matter how it's called because you probably don't know this city. However, we drove down here for business. We have some things to do here and after we will be done with that, we will spend some time for ourselves here just exploring the city a little bit. I have actually lived here for like three years while studying and it feels like my second home. So I know very well this city. I guess this won't be the typical weekend vlog because I didn't vlog much on Sunday and today is Tuesday, so this will be a few days vlog. So actually today I have a doctor's appointment. I have some serious gut issues. Actually, I don't know if it's related to gut, but I have some extreme bloating going on. Obviously not today, but uh, in general. Okay, so this looks awful. I need to change ASAP. So one of my this year's goal is to 
take care of my health, like take my health very seriously. I feel like when you're younger, you don't really care about your health issues. You just go with the flow and everything solves out by itself. But when you get older, you kind of want to solve the issue. You want to know what is the reason, what is the cause for this specific thing and solve it. So that's what we are doing today. According to the researches, um, we tolerated uh, to the milk uh, till maybe uh, the age of two or three years. Oh. And then, <laughs> since uh, we are getting uh, older, uh, the activity of enzyme lactase um, is getting worse, worse, worse. Oh, okay. And, but you, but you still take uh, yeah. as a habit, yes. And uh, you notice that something happened with you, but you even can't imagine that it is uh, yeah. connected with your usual habit of taking milk, especially yeah. Baltacaria. Coffee. Yeah, I'm drinking the co coffee a lot. I drink like milk with coffee, not coffee no, with milk. <laughs> that's why you have this problem. Yeah, yeah, I also take oatmeal every day and it's also oatmeal? with milk. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I prefer no. it with milk. Yeah. All porridges are on the water. Okay. But with butter. Okay, okay. <laughs> at you least can, something. <laughs> yes, you can add uh, quite enough butter. Yeah. Uh, and uh, milk. Um, removed from diet from everything. Okay. okay. Can I can I drink uh, without lactose milk? No. Also it's, no. It's the same. <laughs> okay. Actually, but you can drink plant based. Milk. Okay, plant based. Okay. So almond like for example. Yeah. yeah. Coconut or something like that. Okay. okay. How long do you have this problem? Um, year and a half. <laughs> a year and a half. Yeah. Okay. Did you uh, suffer from COVID? Uh, two or three years ago, when it first started. Yes. Does this mean that I won't be able to drink milk at all in home? I think yeah. yes. Okay. I think yes. Okay. I think the reason uh, why a lot of people stop to digest milk uh, because of COVID. Oh, okay. Yes, I, I think that's one of the reasons. Okay. It's just my suggestion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, guys, I'm going home from my doctor's appointment and I have, like, I'm not even exaggerating a full bag of pills and prescription medicine and stuff like that, like, I spent a hundred euros on that. Basically, the short version is that I can't drink milk like forever, only plant-based. I mean, plant-based milk is not so bad, but I really love milk and milk products and now I can't take them like forever. So that will be really hard. Yeah, but uh, otherwise, if it makes me feel better, then it's worth it. Okay guys, just look at this. That's my bag. Like, what the hell? It looks like a granny starter bag. <laughs> Sorry for the mess behind, just ignore that. Basically, the short version is that I can't use milk at all. Like, never, never ever I can ever use milk again. Which is very painful when I say it out loud. I just can't believe that I need to say goodbye to milk forever. I know I'm being a little bit dramatic here, but I use milk daily. I drink milk with coffee, not coffee with milk. I use milk for my oatmeal. I eat milk products a lot and now I can't use any single thing of that. The good thing is that I can drink plant-based milk. So basically it looks like I'm becoming a vegan now. Don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with vegans. I just never thought I could be one because of milk products. And now I can't use them like forever. Also, I cannot eat dough products, especially sweets like cakes and stuff like that. Like I can eat bread occasionally, but not on an everyday basis. I don't really like this diet.
like I don't like it at all, like zero. But I need to do what's best for my body and if my body can't tolerate milk and dough, then goodbye to them. Okay guys, now I'm gonna do some editing because I really have to edit the first uh, part of this YouTube vlog. I haven't done anything yet so it will take a while and I need to sit down and just do that. Afterwards I will meet my friend. Actually we had like a girls day. We are in total four girls. We all worked together a few years ago. As we have stayed a really good friends from time to time we tend to meet and this was the day we all would have met but actually two of the girls can't make it today there are only gonna be two of us me and this other girl but i'm not sad about that life is life and we're all adults now everyone is busy these days including me so i'm happy that at least we two can meet so yeah now i'm gonna do some editing and then we will fast forward to my girl date I just finished my makeup and actually this is my day-to-day -day makeup there's nothing special about it nothing too much nothing too less just getting ready for my hair appointment it's a mess like always i actually don't know why it always gets so messy but i guess that's just a girl thing it's been a while since i last dyed my hair I think the last time was in June, so I'm really excited for today's appointment. And as you probably guessed, I will take you to the salon with me. But for now, I need to clean up this mess and then I will make a breakfast for myself because your girl needs to eat because it will be a long appointment. Like I'm talking about five or six hours. <laughs> 